We gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ in the love of God, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. With humble heart together we say, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that they I have greatly, greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, to my fault, to my fault, to my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, O vine nativity of your only begotten Son, wondrously begun for your people, the work of redemption, grant, we pray, to your servants such firmness of faith that by his guidance they may be attained the glorious prize you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the age of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. Indeed, the Son of God was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is begotten by God commits sin, because God's seed remains in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God, nor anyone who does not love his brother. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Let the sea and what fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands. The mountains shout with them for joy before the Lord. 
all the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord comes. He comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Please stand. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold the love of God. The two disciples heard that what he said and followed Jesus. And Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher. Where are you staying? He said to them, Come and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. Mother, brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, mother, brothers and sisters in Christ. Traditionally, as a new year begins, we make what we, we are called a New Year's resolution. Everybody is doing this. A resolution is also a decision. Remember, mother, brothers, and sisters, resolution is a decision that speaks about our credibility and honesty. Credibility and honesty of oneself. Doing a resolution or a decision this year is reflects on our individual self. That is, that's why we are reminded of what we are going to do with our resolution or decision of this year. And we would say, middle brothers and sisters, I want a good life. I want a smooth life. I want a very good year. And sasabihin po natin, gagawin po lahat ang mga ito para mapabuti ang buhay ko sa taong ito. 
gagawin ko sa buhay ko ang dapat gawin para ako'y mapasaayos ang buhay araw-araw. And added with mother brothers and sisters, we pray that this years may God showers His blessings upon us. Nandun yung paghingi ng pagpapala sa ating Panginoon. Nandun yung paghingi ng paggabay ng Diyos sa atin. Hindi nawawala yon sa ating ginagawang resolution or decision sa buhay. Magdasal at hingiin ang biyaya at hingiin ang gabay ng ating Panginoon. Because we want everything to be well. And everything that we want is pleasing to God. And yes, my dear brothers and sisters, a very good resolution na gagawin po natin at gagawin po natin sa taong ito. Our first reading of today, the Apostle John in our first reading of today, reminds us, let no one deceive you. Everything is good. Everything is grace. God is the author of all goodness. Sinning does not belong to our daily tasks. That is why we are reminded, let no one deceive you. Wag sana tayong malinlang. Wag sana tayong mabulag. Hindi sana tayong makalimot sa ating gagawin sa araw-araw simula ngayong taon na binigay sa atin ng ating Panginoon. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, be careful of how you behave or act because if you forget of your resolution or decision that we make to be realized and to live every day this year without the guidance of God's righteous or righteousness, we failed. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, whoever sins belongs to the devil. And this is a reminder for all of us now to be aware of our tendencies, not of giving full attention to our belongingness as children of God. Rather, pay attention and every action that the righteousness of God will be visible in each one of us. In our gospel today, is asking, the Lord is asking, what are you looking for? He said to them, the two disciples of John, come and you will see. My dear brothers and sisters, this come and you will see perhaps an invitation with so much excitement on what is this all about. Jesus invites us to come and see the path or direction of our lives. We want to take off this year to be a righteous one, to be a holy one, to be a good one, and we are all on His watch. Palagi po tayong tinitingnan ng ating Panginoon. Palagi tayong nandoon sa Kanyang paningin araw-araw. Kaya palagi tayong ginagabayan ng ating Panginoon. But again, mother brothers and sisters, if we fail to recognize the presence of God in us by giving us, each one of us, His righteousness in our daily lives, baka hindi po tayo maging ganap na mapabilang o sa ginagawa nating mga resolution sa buhay. Mother brothers and sisters, we are being invited to get to get in touch with our deepest desire to see the Lord, to grow in our relationship with Him so that we come to see and know Him as He sees and He knows us. Mother, brothers and sisters, let the invitation of Jesus be our resolution each day. Come and you will see. This invitation, my dear brothers and sisters, 
is for all. That's why Jesus continues to invite us, come and you will see. The invitation that requires a mature answer, a mature disposition, and by our genuine disposition to respond to the invitation of Jesus to come and you will see daily in our lives, my dear brothers and sisters, means one thing to stay where he stays, where to go and he goes, and to believe what he believes in. Once we grow, my dear brothers and sisters, in our relationship with Jesus, this is it. We treasure this experience that we have. And the valuing drives us to share with other people. And truly, in our journey, we would say, come and you will see. And this is our prayer and our celebration today, that truly in our lives, we discover, we experience, and we share the invitation of Jesus for all of us. Come and you will see. Amen. Please stand. My dear brothers and sisters, God calls His chosen ones to fulfill His will. Let us pray confidently to our Father, knowing that He wishes His people to intercede for the world. And every petition we say, Lord, help us to do your will. Lord, help us to do your will. That God may continue to call women and men of faith to serve as ministers in our local church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us to do your will. That our families and friends may respond fully to the call of our baptism and accept the grace to remain open to God's call to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to do, do your will. will. That young people may persevere in hope, trusting in God's faithfulness to them as they search for deeper meaning in life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to do, do your will. will. That the elderly, the lonely, and the sick may realize that God's work is being done in the circumstances of their lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to, to do, do your, your will. will. That the dead may rest in peace in the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord help, help us, us to, to do, do your, your will. will. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. God, our Creator, we thank you for all the blessings of this day. Let our trust in you be manifested in our lives, that we be free to respond to you with full hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all praise and goodness, you have received the bread, the offering, the fruit of the earth, and work of the human hands, you shall become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all praise and goodness, you have received the wine you offer, you fruit of the vine and work of the human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. 
hand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about the glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we merit to receive your very self, to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, to Christ our Lord, for through Him the Holy Exchange that restores our life, has shone forth today in splendor when our frailty is assumed by your word. Not only does human mortality receive an ending honor, but by his wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in the company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. Make holy their furthest gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that are worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, may be God unto one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and will have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints we have visited throughout the ages, we are merit to be coerced to eternal life and the present glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, 
they will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gaisly grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we always free from sin and save from all distress as you await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faiths of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the better source of our life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say, say the word, the word and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ give us.
Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by the power of these holy mysteries, may your life may be constantly sustained through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, refine the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you.